Welcome back to Bourbon Country Reacts. Hey, everybody. That guy's Dustin. Um, I do stuff with bourbon. I, I'm Keith. I'm kind of a music guy. And by do stuff, I mean I drink it. That's pretty much it. You analyze it a little bit, too. Mm. Yeah, you do that a lot on this channel. So I was going to say, not like in, we don't sit around the bar and just... Well, actually, we do sometimes. We do. We <laughs> totally do. You're right. That's true. Cool. <laughs> All right, so what we got? We got another bribe. This one is from... Wait, you think they can guess? Yeah. I'm betting they can get within I, three, I think right? Steven's getting jealous. He might be. Because it's not from him. Right. It's from Melody. Melody. She, yeah. she, get, she sent us a Four Roses regular. Uh, I've had Four Roses. I like Four Roses. However, it's been at least a year, I think, since I've had any. Regular Four Roses? Yeah. I think we've done the regular, like the big plastic one on the channel a I think long we did time ago very early yeah. yeah so uh four roses bourbon we'll get into that some more what song did she want with this bribe so i'm hoping i've, I've got the right <laughs> song it's and i don't even know how to pronounce this guy's name it's uh james bonamy um dog on a toolbox okay i've never heard this one I've never heard of the artist. Never heard of the song. So, oops. Plan on getting fit chased today. I was Doesn't. going to drink some <laughs> bourbon. Uh, all right, bourbon guy. Let's well, hear it. Let's hear it. Well, I'm kind of thinking that if Rover's standing on the toolbox, he's gonna get thrown. And you hit a corner at ninety. Yeah. Rover's taking flight. Yeah. Dog with wings. <laughs> and surf slipping the sipping the Red Bull. It's a dog cowboy. And you had to have a little pink house. I said, okay. Mm. When you pulled your Harley up in church, well, I just prayed. My life is like a mobile home in a hurricane. Sometimes I feel like a dog standing on a toolbox in the back of a pickup truck. I would love this song if it weren't for that chorus, man. Right. Everything about this song is great. Is incredible. The guitar work in it is amazing. And I really like. I don't. So it's a metaphor, clearly, but I don't understand. Like I, I, I get it, but I don't. Yeah, he's with a crazy chick, no. and he likes it. True, but who says it's like stand, a dog standing on a toolbox in the back of a truck? Like, where do you correlate? Like, did this happen? Did he did he catapult a dog? <laughs> I, I I don't know. You know what I'm saying? Like, who thinks about that? Have you ever seen it? I mean, I've seen dogs in the backs of trucks. Right. 
but not on the toolbox. Right. Because the dogs are smart enough to know. Don't get on if that. If you get on the toolbox, yeah, I can't, you're going to fly. I don't have balance anymore. Well, they don't have balance in the back anyway, but. <laughs> True. That's why they don't get on the toolbox. <laughs> yeah. It's just weird. Everything about this song is incredible. That It's just that monotone, flat, going forever too long chorus. That is weird. And he's barely shifting his pitch by a half step anywhere through it for like four or five bars. It's like, dude, st- stop that. Mm-hmm. Get back to playing and singing other things. Yeah. Because that stuff's awesome. Yeah. Whoa! There's some wicked there are some, instruments. There is some insane quality musicianship. Yeah. In, in this band or whatever it is. But why, like a dog <laughs> on a toolbox in the back of a truck going around a corner doing 90? You're, you're kind of stuck on that little bit, aren't you? I just you? don't get it. <laughs> but, there were so many other... Well, I think he's trying to say things are a little unstable. I got that from the mobile home in a hurricane. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah I understand. It, yeah, I, I almost kind of don't even want to think about that anymore because, like, the some of that guitar stuff, like, in, in, in at the end of the tune there, mm-hmm. I was like, man, this is a 50s throwback, but it's like Chuck Berry on acid. Like, just... Yeah, Marty McFly losing his mind. If, if you're really young, you're not going to get that. <laughs> and then, of course, you're probably not here if you're really young. No. Did you just call them all old? Isn't it weird? Hold on, wait. Isn't it weird to be the same age as all these old people? No, it's unacceptable. It's not weird. It's just terrible. It's weird. <laughs> so, it, it, yeah, the musicianship was awesome. Um there was nothing to complain about with the instruments. He's got to fix that chorus. It, it, as he was singing the verses, that sounded great too. Yeah. And then stop. Just stop. Dog. That I honestly, so if you know, you guys you guys give us all kinds of information. If y'all know where the hell that chorus came from, like, wh- why? Is it a saying somewhere? Yeah. yeah. Or maybe was an experience in this guy's life that was real. Help us out, because yeah. it's weird. And and dude needs to trim his chorus down by about 75%. And then, then mm. he'll, he'll have a nice song. Mm. So, yeah. Yeah. All right. What do you think of this Four Roses? This is probably one of the better mixing bourbons. It's cheap enough. It's got enough bourbon flavor, but it's not super powerful. So, yeah. It's, it, it's pretty mellow. It's it's a very basic but pleasing bourbon because yep. it's, it's very corn sweet. Right. Um Really not much more in the flavor profile than that till you get to the finish. And then it's like oak bitter. Yeah, a touch of oak bitter starts to roll in, but that sweet's still laying on your palate. Um, and there's nothing bad in it. Nothing bad. No negative flavors. Nothing that makes me go, eh. Mm. And frankly, the sweetness kind of pulls you back into the glass a little. Um, but I kind of agree. This would be a really good... Um, really the only mixed drinks... I'll do or you know an old fashioned and this would be stellar yeah in, in a in a well mixed old fashioned yeah as long as they didn't put too much simple syrup in it yeah yeah 
Because it's already naturally sweet. It's got a good sweetness to it. Yeah. And you can pick up a bottle this size of this stuff for like 20 bucks. And and it's it's worth 20 bucks. Um, because like I say, there's nothing really to complain about with it other than the lack of complexity. Yeah. Right? That's it. It's, it's, it's very not... simple. It's bourbon. It's decent bourbon. What's interesting is with this one... I don't really like it's it, at least in the store. It doesn't catch my eye as much as their small batch, right? Right. This is regular, not small batch. And what's small batch mean? They made at least one less bottle than they made of that barrel. Bottle. No, they mixed one less barrel. Bottle. They could uh, one less bottle, uh, and it's a smaller batch. The moral of the story is we're both right because yeah. there are no rules about small batch. Right. It's just that's the truth, but I do tend to like their small batch better than this because it's more complex. I do, I do too. And frankly, as you step up the Four Roses production ladder from the base up to small batch and then to the single barrel, um, by at the top of that, you've got a hell of a good bourbon. Yeah. Um, their, so their single barrels are legit good. They they've got a, a good flavor range in three different bottles that are pretty highly available. A single barrel doesn't pop up as often as the others, mm. but it's out there. You can easily find it. Yeah, it, it's out there. I just saw a post the other day. There were, uh, what is that? Something wants me to update. We're not doing that right now. No. We're we're recording. Leave us alone. Uh, I saw a post of the Four Roses, like, uh, special editions. There were five of them, $174 each at the Costco on the south side. I was like, man, I'd like to try it. Yeah, I'd like for you to buy a bottle of that and and pour me a glass. If y'all want to buy us a (laughs) bottle of that, we'll do a bribe for you. I don't think I'm going to do it. (laughs) <laughs> you can. What, they can bribe us? Uh, they, they could too, but I'm not if, asking if, anybody out there to buy us a $175 bottle. Steven? <laughs> I'm kidding. Don't, don't do that. I'm kidding. <laughs> My God, no. As Steven and Melody have spent enough money on this channel, that's for sure. Hey, Amen. So, that is true. Uh, strange song. Yeah. Loved parts of it, hated one particular part of it, uh, and a good bourbon, so... Yeah, pretty basic bourbon. Real quick, proof game. Oh, you know what? And I don't know. You'd think I might know what uh, Four Roses is. Let me let me try. I don't even know what their small batch is off the top of my head. It's got a really good nose. This is low. I'm gonna say about eighty-five. It's eighty. Is it? Right. Yeah, they they dropped it in right at the bottom. Where, yeah. where it can be called bourbon. Yeah, go any lower, you can't call it bourbon anymore. Nope. All right. Well, guys, if you enjoyed this video, go ahead and give us a like. Go ahead and subscribe. Drop down in the comments. Tell us uh, what songs we need to listen to, what North American whiskeys we need to check out. Mm. And it's always an option to send us a bribe and put your song to the front of the front of the list for us because we've got a lot of votes waiting in the wings if we can get back to them. Still tracking them. Yep. Keep All them right. coming. Till next time, guys. See you.